Oh baby, today's video is gonna be a good one. What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. I am so excited for today's video because I am gonna be attempting the King Snake. This is a 4x4 cube made up of 64 blocks. Each block is connected to each other via a piece of string. The objective, once pulled apart, is to turn it back into a 4x4 cube. As simple as that may sound, it's gonna be very challenging. According to the directions that came with it, a good solving time for this puzzle is four hours. Four hours! That's half a work day. As daunting as that may sound, I feel like I have the upper hand on this puzzle. A few months ago before I started making videos, I solved the 3x3 snake cube. The goal of this puzzle is the same as the 4x4, except this solve time is a lot shorter. It took me a little over two hours to solve the 3x3, but once you get the concept down, it becomes a lot simpler to solve. So, without further ado, let's get to solving. <sighs> Alright, the king snake in 3, 2, 1. So like I was talking about in the intro, when I was doing the 3x3 three three cube, one thing I realized is you need to take it layer by layer. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to start from the bottom layer and build it up. That didn't seem like it was working. So let's see if I can't figure out a different approach to this. Starting again. Instincts tell me that I should start here because it has four blocks in a row. And that's the max that you can use because obviously it's a four by four. Unlike this side, it has only three by threes for the first like two two strands. And then it gets to a four by four. But I feel like starting with this one here, it should make it a lot easier to form. Okay, back to square one.
somewhere starting on this end. I'm going to go back to the other end. This whole doing one layer but at a time thing, yeah, that didn't work out for me. Kind of just threw that out the window. We're half hour into this puzzle. This is looking good. Kind of. So now we got the one layer done. This is looking a lot more promising. I need to give my arms a break. square one not technically square one I think one of my problems when I'm doing this puzzle is I get so stuck on one shape that I made and I'm not willing to backtrack so that kind of eats into my time a little bit but I'm backtracking a little bit now see if I can't change anything up when I'm getting to these rows of four that's what really screws me up because there's only a few ways that it can be configured This is something I haven't seen yet. Almost have two layers down, but there's no empty holes on the sides or the bottom. Okay, so I'm trying to visualize what this will look like. So I think if I take this brick, these two pieces right here, and flip it down so it fills this hole. These four can string across 
from the second to top layer going that way. So let's see if I can figure that out. Well, we're an hour in, and I feel like I've made progress. Still trying to figure this out. See if I can't get this line of four bricks, not bricks, cubes, down through this way right here. Okay, so I just came to the realization that that's not going to work because the pattern on this goes every other color and if this white piece goes here, that would be out of place. So, on to the next. telling you these line of four would really screw you up I think I'm getting somewhere changing things up and then I eventually get to those and there is no other option for them so then you got to backtrack once again I think I'm going to take a break here. I've been going at it for about an hour and a half. And hopefully by the time I finish taking a break, i got some new ideas in my head. So, I'll catch you in a little bit. Alright, so I took a little bit of a break. And I am back for round two. Here we go. start once again. Well, we're about to hit the halfway point of four hours as a good solving time. I feel like I haven't gotten anywhere.
many attempts is this? This has got to be at least five. More than five has to be. So I'll let that charge and then I will be back after another break. Alright, it's a few days later. I'm nice and refreshed and ready to finish this puzzle. So here we go. back for my third attempt. As you can see, I did work on this puzzle a little bit after the camera shut off. I had to charge my batteries once again, and I still ended up getting nowhere. So let's jump right back into it, hopefully for the last time. Well, I got some good news and some bad news. Good news? Solved the puzzle. Bad news? Did not get it on camera. Boo! So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it apart and show you how to solve it. So when you're first starting off, you wanna find the end with 
the three locks instead of the four. And this is how you start. You're going to put these two together and then you're going to take the four block and stack them on top of each other. Swing this three piece down and then you're going to take this two block, swing it over, and then swing these three up. And then put these three going down. Like so. And then you're going to take this two block, swing it around here. Essentially just snake these up. Up and around to complete this side here. Like so. And then you're going to swing these three blocks around. Then you're going to take these three, fold it into the middle, like so. And then we're going to take these two, <coughs> swing off to the side, so we finish this second layer here. We're going to swing this down, swing this last one up. Then you're going to take this four block, go across the whole side there. And then you're going to take this four block and put it right next to it, like so. And we're going to swing these two down here to complete this side here with the three. You're going to lay this one flat, take it up, move these down. To complete this third layer here, put all those there. You're going to slide this one up, swing it around, and that's it. That's how it's done. Well, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get this solve on camera because this puzzle took me well over 24 hours to solve. I believe I filmed all the way up until like 16 hours and then I decided just to stop filming because I did not know when I was going to end up solving this so it just made more sense for me and it was more comfortable for me to solve it off camera. Y'all remember when I said I thought I had the upper hand on this puzzle? I feel like I had the upper hand on this puzzle. Yeah, well I was clearly wrong. 24 hours to solve a puzzle of this caliber I think is pretty ridiculous. Who knows, maybe I just suck at puzzles. Normally I'll end a video by saying how much fun the puzzle was, but I don't think I could say that for this puzzle. It got to a point where I was just over it, like I just wanted to finish it. I didn't care about the fun of it anymore, I just wanted it to be done. I think maybe if you got like a long road trip or flight coming up, this is a good puzzle to take with you because it is quite challenging. Anyway, if you guys enjoy these type of puzzles and videos that I'm putting out, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more. I'll see you in the next one.